It is I, Planty Mush. Current Silver Shroud, but maybe, of course, not forever. Now, my friends, today is going to be far more Planty Mush than Silver Shroud because it's finally time at long bloody last that we get everything going. Rank 4 gun nut, rank 4 science, wherever the hell it's gone, and of course rank 3 of nuclear physicist. Basically means that there is no gun that we cannot craft, there is no science that cannot be performed, uh, except for the fact that we don't have chemistry, we don't have blacksmith, we don't have armor, but other than that, there's no science that cannot be performed by this man. We can build whatever weapon we want, and we have enough legendaries collected at this point that we can break down and make some legendary effects of our own. Probably not many, but certainly we can do some damage here. So, we're going to hit the ground running today. I've already done a little testing and, and reloaded after I'd um, kind of experimented with things. Here is the plan. I think we want our one long-range weapon. And we've already got that sniper, which is still more than good enough as far as I'm concerned. Two-shot is not as good as instigating, but I'm all right with that. Uh, that's, of course, uh, I've, I've picked up everything so that we can take stuff apart and experiment here. Um... I can't even find the bloody thing. Uh, longer arm of justice, that's right. This is still more than fine as far as I'm concerned. It does a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, 156 per shot, but then does double if they're at full health. It's fine. It's a good gun, and we're going to stick with it. And more importantly, it uses plasma, which we haven't got another plasma weapon. What we have to be concerned about, I think, is the ammo type and the variety. So I want, I want one long-range weapon. I want one short-range, semi-automatic, hard-hitting gun. And we want a short range, maybe that is uh, a shotgun or a rifle. And then I think we want a kind of, a special little extra is what I'm going to call it. And I've got a couple of candidates for that as well. So I'll timestamp all the crafting. If you want to skip over it, by all means do. Don't blame me when you're confused. Reading literacy is at an all-time low. But I'll assume that's just the Rim Rims. You're far more sensible people over here on the second channel. Now, a lot of this stuff we can't do anything with. Colors pistol we could break down. I think it's better for the rogues gallery, to be honest. For some reason, I can't get rid of this, right? Now, I'm looking at Justice, Planty Mush's favorite shotgun. And I'm seeing staggering on that. And I'm thinking, that's not very good. That is not very good for Planty Mush. Now, what we could do is we could swap over to, say, Wounding. And I looked into this a little bit. Um, bleed damage bypasses all resistances, supposedly. Of course, it doesn't work on robots. But bypasses, uh, or more specifically, things don't have a defense against it. And it stacks per hit. So, with a shotgun or a semi-automatic weapon, Wounding is going to be really, really good. Now, it does a flat 25 points. So, really, you want it on a weapon that can fire a lot of stuff very quickly. Which is what we'll talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, no, we could we could add something to this. And I think that's certainly an option here. There are some kind of gimmicky guns that I tested out uh, off camera. And they just didn't work out. Which is why I'm happy not to start in the episode. This plasma rail uses fusion... Uh, sorry, plasma cores as ammo. It's not amazing. We'll, we'll keep it so I can show you all. But it's certainly not amazing. God, I wish we could break down a lot of this stuff. So, we're going to start by breaking down a bunch of weapons that I'm, I'm honestly never going to use. It's going to be a lot of uniques, so I need you to hold on to your pants, because this might make you cry. So, we can't break that down. We're going to keep Kellogg's. We'll, 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 we'll hang on to Justice for now, but it might be broken down, just to warn you. Because otherwise, for me to give it a good upgrade, I'm wasting not only the effect chip on it, but we've got to spend another potentially five more. So, we might break that down. Um, Ad Victorium. I would break that down, but I'm not allowed. Ashmaker, what we got yesterday, somebody said that the fire doesn't stack in the same way that the bleeding stacks, because that makes sense. You're going to be on fire once. We're going to break it down. Dignity Rifle. Uh, it's funny. It's very silly. In fact, can we put anything else on this before I make a decision here? Um, external Circuit does give a bit of extra damage there. We need Chemist for it, though. It also looks nonsensical. Um, can we do anything else with this at all? Muzzle? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on a second, then. Hold on. Let's let's, talk, uh, let's, have, a, let's have a discussion. Counts as a rifle, so I presume it benefits from the rifleman perk. If it doesn't, I'd like a refund. Improved rate of fire, armor penetration, reduced damage, and range railgun. Exceptional damage, superior range, worse recoil. Poor ammo capacity and hip fire capacity. Honestly? Damn, I mean... That's ridiculous. That fires an explosive clot of plasma. I assume like that weapon in Unreal Tournament. Um, boy, oh boy, these are silly, aren't they? I like the look of that, though. And bear in mind, we're playing on very hard, so I'm, I'm happy to take what we can get at this stage. Take a railgun? What the fuck? Do we turn that into our long-range weapon? 
Give it a medium scope. We've got long recon scope there. Tracks targets. Okay, let's turn this into our long range weapon. <laughs> what do we need? We need chemist level three to put the big explosive thing on it. That adds ballistic damage from red hot rod elements. That is how a railgun works. We could put legendary on that too. Oh god, we could put double shot on that. That would be disgusting. And by god, I could be tempted. Okay, hold on to that for a second. Um, so let's break down the long arm of justice when we get there. Those things are ridiculous. Let's break those down. Laser blade. We'll hang on to. Maybe we want to use that one day. Liberator, someone said I can activate a workbench, but we probably won't use it either way. We can't break it down though. Longer arm of justice. My friend, you've served us well. It's time to retire. A certain alien assault rifle can't break down as well. Mouthful of justice. I'm retiring it. Maybe controversial. Most of its damage is in radiation damage, which a lot of stuff have resistances from. The gamma cores, the super mutants, the ghouls. Break it down. Now, the silver submachine gun someone brought up in the comments, and I think is a beautiful suggestion for this particular point of the silver shroud and his character arc. A kind of magnum opus, if you will, where we're combining silver shroud and planty before we maybe move on to greener pastures here. We customize this with... And I tested this out, and it's very, very good. We customize it with wounding. Because it's a submachine gun. That's disgusting. We throw a cryo charger on it. Applies cryo damage to each bullet. Which would be disgusting. That gets past a lot of resistances as well. And then we just go with that. And that thing, even though we haven't got the commando perks, that would still be amazing. And I think something we want to go for. Can't do anything with the Assaultron. Right, now this was an incredible suggestion. I should just mention it. We're not going to do it because we haven't got enough chips for now. Somebody said put double shot on the junk jet and fill it with adhesive. So whenever you fire the junk jet, you make two adhesive per shot. That is big brain. Sadly, not something we can do anything with right now. But I think it's very big brain. I'm going to break this down. It's clunky and you need to craft special ammo for it. It looks awesome. I'm going to break it down. That may be controversial. Maybe I should have kept it as a companion weapon. That's okay. We can get another. Uh, what's there is baseball bat? I will keep for a companion because that's absolutely hilarious. I'm going to break down that sword. So everything in the inventory right now, I cannot break down any further. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. Color's gun is going in the uh, rose gallery. Everything else, I'm just going to liquidate. Before I head off, I've made the tough decision. We're going to break down the shotgun of justice. I'm going to buy another shotgun. We can put a better effect on it, okay? We're going to need more legendaries. Okay, we're going to need a lot more legendaries before this plan will come to fruition. But then we're covering a wide range of ammo types and stuff to work with. But the stagger effect, I'm going to be honest, I didn't notice it. Shooting someone with a shotgun is probably going to stagger them anyway. I didn't notice what side effects that gun had, if any. So all of this stuff, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to sell. Oh my god, the music. I've also got to offer a retraction. Uh, and this is also a condemnation of YouTube itself. I, rather foolishly yesterday, uh, said that a piano piece, uh, in fact, Nocturne by Chopin, was uh, 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 Bach's cello suite uh, in G, specifically. Uh, because I'm a lunatic. Now, let me explain, okay? Maybe I am... Uh, it's just it's just a weird thing that goes on in my brain. Maybe I'm acoustic. Who knows? Uh, but but songs in my brain go together in pairs. Okay, I can't help it. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. It's like the, the, uh, so so that's a great example of that, right? Those two pieces nestled together in my brain. Here's another one. I want you to pause the video. I want you to go and do this. Don't obviously pause it until I've said, otherwise you'd be terribly confused. I want you to go and like listen to. Uh, and for some reason, these are always in my brain too. When I hear one, I think it's the other. Uh, Jessica Jones, the intro music from that. And go and listen to Lemon Pound Cake by Afro Man. You go listen to that, and you will see why. You probably won't. <laughs> it's lunacy. You'll probably be like, oh, yeah, they are vaguely similar. You're, you're right. Here's another one. And one I've actually I, I mashed up because it was just stuck in my head all day. Because I don't get one song stuck in my head. I get two at the same time. The Biggie Smalls Juicy and Tribal Assembly from RimWorld is another great example of that. I've got a whole bit that I planned out for it for the Elise and Sam show that I'm sure um, we'll go and talk about at some stage. But yeah, that's that. Uh, now, the reason I bring this up, uh, first is to apologize to that poor person uh, for, for making the mistake in the first place. Secondly, I replied to my YouTube and I said, you big bitch, that's Brahms. Uh, or Buck, even. Oh, guys, you are... Uh, uh, so, many th so many things in my head. Uh, and YouTube removed my comment. 
So you were never going to know that I insulted you, uh, nor did I have to bring this up or ever mention it. However, uh, I'm a tremendously humble person. And I would like to emphasize how much I would like to apologize um, for a mistake you didn't know I'd made to win brownie points. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's that. There you go. That's me. That's me owning up for a, a terrible mistake. Because you're right. It was not a 14 intelligence play. And I wasn't speaking as Planty Mush. I was just me. Smooth brain me. So then. What was I doing? Remind me. Uh, we sold all the guns. And now we're going to make a mess of some weapons. So first thing. The silver shroud gun. We are going to throw on this. Wounding. 25 additional bleed damage per shot. And we're going to be firing a lot of shots. Cryo charger. Now if I'm not mistaken... I gave all my cryo rounds to Piper, which is very unfortunate because I just went back to Diamond City and picked up the one and only, you probably heard him muttering there, Mr. Valentine, wherever he's gone, because we haven't really traveled with Mr. Valentine. He's the only companion that we've really kind of ignored in all this time. And Planty has been considering recently that there are bigger problems for him to solve than common neighborhood crimes as the Silver Shroud. He might want to hang up the Shroud or perhaps more specifically, gift it to another. And that, my friends, is the game plan. And you know, if we make Dad this gun awesome, exceptionally good, then we will give it to Mr. Valentine. Presuming, of course, we make him the Silver Shroud. Plenty of good ca ca candidates, I think. Uh, the Inspector. Greetings, it is I, the Silver Shroud. Read the paper, Mister. Uh, uh, listen, we need to trade items. This is what I've got. Have you noticed that recently he has already been... He, uh, he has been more uh, direct in his in his phrases, in his words, even throwing in the occasional swear word here and there. You remember? You, have you noticed that? I hope so, because it's very deliberate that Planty Mush is gaining more confidence. Not only as the Silver Shroud, that kind of fake bravado, but he even as people do crazy the man under the shroud is becoming quite empowered. Maybe dangerously so, worth mentioning. Maybe dangerously so. Maybe he's getting delusions of grandeur at this point. Nothing's killed him in the wasteland so far. Maybe he's outgrowing the silver shroud, getting a bit too big for someone else's boots, so to speak. Hmm. It's a dangerous character arc, for certain. But we'll keep an eye on it. That. That's a cello. That's a cello. Whereas before it was a piano and I said it was a cello, yet quite clearly. It was shocking given that I played classical piano for years, isn't it? <laughs> so on this gun i wanted to put two shot right that one requires three more effect chips now we haven't got any armor sadly that we can break down um we also needed what was it level three chemist to make this thing the best one possible uh it was that was this one here okay actually i would say no i would say we don't need that because this adds 94 ballistic damage this one adds uh, like 70-something. I can't do the math off the top of my head. It's very late at night. 70-something uh, energy and then a little extra burn damage. But that's... I, I think this is fine. It more or less... In fact, I think it adds up to exactly the same. You're welcome to double check that for me, though. I, I'm happy with that, how that is, to be honest. Okay, cool. Um, and everything else is like is like fine. It's all, it's all the same stuff. Use energy cells, which we have a shitload of, too. Right, so let's save that. We've got a Silver Shroud gun. Let's upgrade it to... There's a couple of choices here. Did I... Tommy Ice. No, no, no. This is right. Um, we could go for a powerful receiver. Or, alternatively, go for rapid. The fire rate goes... From 127, but individually the bullets hit harder. To 159, but the bullets hit a lot less. But when you're stacking up bleed damage, I would assume this is the right way to go about it, huh? Please let me know if I'm totally misguided and speaking fucking nonsense because i will happily undo the damage that's the best part about having all these skills and all of this all this stuff that we've looted being a diligent looter has led us to this point now the other thing i wanted to mention is you know say for example uh, hypothetically of course that planty mush does one day say no more silver shroud right and gives it to someone else i i, I think using science in every way possible is very appropriate for him Simultaneously, power armor sucks, in my opinion. It really is just god awful to uh <laughs> to try and play in this game. I can add a bunch of stuff to like redo the UI, quiet the footsteps down, but it still feels so clunky, you know? It it, it just it just feels very clunky and not enjoyable to play. 
I was going to take that and give it to Nick, but you know what? We'll leave Nick with whatever he's got right now. And uh, he's got a... We're, we're here really to scope him out and just to see if he wants to assist with the justice. But really, to this is this is Planty Bush helping convince himself that this is the right idea. Ooh, bobblehead stand. You're very right. Um, Where are all my bobbleheads? What are they under? Like, misc? If only there was a search button. Oh, which... Oh, there is. F. Uh, I was going to say there normally is in our inventory, but... Bobblehead. Here we go. Boo, 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 Hey, that's nice. Oh, we've got all the special ones. Really? Charisma. Energy weapons. No, we don't. <laughs> I thought all six stacked up there. Okay. They just stack up in order. We'll do it so it, uh, the special stats are at the top eventually, of course. So we're actually like halfway through the bobblehead collection. That's not bad going. Damn. I say we've been randomly stumbling across and that's pretty damn good. Okay, then. So, I sold all the weapons. What did I buy with it? A shitload of adhesive. And I bought extra ammo for the Silver Shroud submachine gun. 462. I'll be honest. I think we're probably going to burn through that very, very quickly. Let's see how our railgun looks. Ridiculous. Oh, my God. That's got a hell of a range to it. Fucking hell. When you hold your breath, you are dead still. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> This gun is insane. What the hell have we built? I wish there was a way to rotate like your character. Ah! I wish there was a way to rotate your character whilst your gun was in your hand. That'd be nice. So submachine gun, long range rail gun. Again, I would like a, a, a close range single shot gun, be that combat rifle or a shotgun or whatever. We'll save it. We've got to put a legendary effect on this first. So, we've got to test them out. Warwick Homestead has green skins, but the strongest enemy we've found is, of course those absolutely insane let's go to the Quincy ruins I suppose those absolutely insane gamma claws now in theory the submachine gun should bypass all of their resistances no radiation damage to worry about just pure cryo blading and bullets hitting them it's a three-pronged attack oh what happened here okay bizarre uh Right. Oh, that seems a bit bloody rude, actually. I guess this is a, um... Can't hit it. What the hell do you mean? This is 95% chance, you weird video game. Just when I thought we were getting <laughs> We got so many shots for this gun. I'll try not blind fire it too much, but obviously we've got so much ammo for it, I'm probably going to be using it in combat quite frequently. What's Mr... Mr. Valentine, what have you seen? What have your synth eyes seen? Nothing. He's just, he's just freaking out, by the way. Okay. I am terrified. How many Gamma Claws are there? One, two, th three? One, two? Oh, maybe that was just two and that was... Oh. They are very magical, these Gamma Claws, aren't they? There's two over there. I've got to test it. Good damage. Actually, like, really, really good damage. Now we'll try out for the main, the main effect. Let's see this bloody thing. I have tested this before, at least a variation of it. God, that's a lot of recoil compared to what we used to. But they're hitting true, though. They are really hitting true, though. Nice. Nice. One down. <laughs> now this. We can, we can hit fire these a bit more, too. Actually, I think the recoil is better. Hip firing. Careful, because these things do go nuclear when they die. The bleed damage on that was... Did you see how much damage that thing was taking at the end there? That was insane. Oh, I'm happy with this. Oh my god, I'm happy with this. The dog got nuked. Shit, that was nuts. Are they alright? Are they still living in this house? Oh, they're, they're over here, aren't they? Oh, they did come out and have a look. Absolutely ridiculous. And what is this? More of that... A more nuclear waste there. Look at that. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Politely. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> um, I'm trying to zoom out, but... Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. It will probably take a few years to do that. Oh, my God. What am I looking at? Okay, well, what sort of person would I be if I didn't immediately? Jesus Christ. Oh, it uses fusion cores as ammo. Its fire rate is 
929, and its range is uh, 599,051. Oh, good God above. Uh, right. I guess take a shot of that car. Oh. Look at how... F was that a ghoul? Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see how fast it burnt through ammo? Hold on. Bring the UI back. Oh, wait. The hell? It said unlimited ammo capacity, but I actually think it might have unlimited ammo. Hold on. What the fuck is this thing I've just picked up? Apologies about the noise. Um, that's going in storage forever permanently because that is a nonsense weapon made by a lunatic. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Here's what I'm learning uh, from my experience playing Fallout 4. A lot of the modded weapons, you know, I added a bunch of energy weapons because I was like, I know I wanted to play a, a sniveling nerd type character so we need a lot of firepower to make up for it, right? Um, which again is what we've applied pretty, pretty nicely, I think. I... I I, I think a lot of the modded weapons are ridiculous, and I think it's the it's it's the modder effect, right? You get this in Oblivion, you get it in Skyrim, you get it in RimWorld. Modders want their weapons to stand out, and I think they do that by making them fucking nuts, like insane. Sometimes less is more. That gun could be really cool, but I'm never going to use that because that's just going to. I might as well just turn on god mode at that point, right? Anyway, sorry, we're not supposed to come into this building, but uh, it was a building that had four gamma claws surrounding it, so you know it's got to have something good here, right? I can't see anyone in there. We can also hack it. It's not a problem. Th uh, thank you, Mr. Valentine, but oh, don't touch anything. Use roof access. We don't want this floor waking up too. Cutty. Raiders? Somebody with the name Cutty probably isn't Brotherhood of Steel, I'd assume. Oh, God. We should have gone and seen Kent. Welcome to your last oh. Uh. We should have gone and seen Kent and got an armor upgrade oh, before we came into wherever this place is. Oh, it's filled with raiders. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Nick, I thought you killed that fella. Uh, this place is filled with raiders. Oh, my God. Okay, really starting to think we should have gone and seen Kent a lot sooner than... Coming <laughs> here. Oh, shit. Hello. We've woken up all the Protectrons. That's going to piss the raiders off. Um, Right. Am I making a mistake coming here? Especially if that level scaling works as if people have been saying it is. This seems like a difficult area of the map filled with frightening enemies. That we're fighting with a fancy dress costume. Probably not the best idea. Oh, but you know what we... You know what we do have, though? We've got a goddamn railgun. No action points. Oh, my God. To fire it is more action points than we have. Okay. Watch this. You see that? I was quite level reflexes. I'm sure you were barely able to keep up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't too impressive. These things happen. These things happen. Right. This area secure. I think we're going to be using this gun quite a lot, to be honest. Intruder identified. It does good damage. And I mean, against robots, which, uh, as far as I recall, don't bleed. Maybe the synths, are, I suppose, are an exception to that. But against robots that don't bleed, this seems like the when right you turn call. Up, you're dead. Oh, God. There was Cutty. You saw that. Oh, there are a lot of raiders in here. I think this is going to... Ah, oh. Get, uh, get down, Mr. Valentine. I like the shots that come out of this. Though. They feel... Scanning for they feel good. On... Oh, God. The protector on shooting the, the unkillable Wufty. Great shots. Okay, uh, that person we can't see. I certainly know we're here. I think we can sneak and lose them, though. But no, we've picked up a lot of sneaking magazines, and I have teched into sneaking quite a quite a fair amount. 
Just keep your eyes peeled. Is that another turret? What is that? Sandbags. Just keep your eyes peeled. Let's see what's down here first. Okay. This I like. I like this gun a lot. It's not crazy damage. It's not ridiculously overpowered. It's not insane like the other gun we just picked up. It's like a nice middle ground. Where nice accurate shots hit hard. And when we put double, we'll put that double shot effect on this as well. Okay, should we? Yeah. Careful. Okay, good work. There's no reddies over here. Grab that. If we could try and lose them and then and then go back into sneak mode so we can do the extra sneak damage. It's over. They must have run off. You hear that? Torrent. Okay. Ooh, this is a scary, scary floor. This is a scary place. Those Protectrons, I, I mean, they were doing an insane amount of damage, weren't they? Shit. To say that they were just bloody Protectrons. We need to do some actual quests soon. I feel like we've had a lot of days back to back of just like non-stop fighting. But this is like, this is like a big moment, right? We finally got that, that, that one perk that's just been elusive. Kind of hanging over us the entire playthrough. How the hell did we not set that off before? So this, this, this is nice. This is like, uh, this is the payoff to Planty's experience and progress. Okay, we're gonna carefully sneak upstairs. Is there a perk that lets you sneak while running? It's like ninja, isn't it? Something in the agility tree. Can we see whoever that is? No, sadly not. Okay. Keep your head down. Be careful, Mr. Valentine. This place is crawling with... Crawling with villains. Okay. What have we got in here? Delicious noodle cups. We're taking those. We're taking your dirty water, too. Give us all of this crap. There's a lot of rare items in this place, aren't there? Jesus. Okay. Let's grab some of this shit. Desk man, lovely. Okay. Just making, just making sure we've got everything, you know? Two rare items over there. Keep your head down, Planty. Don't get overzealous. Watch out for turrets. That's the... Okay. This... What was that? That's the turret right there. What's making the light, though? <gasps> was that a robot or was that a fella? I think that was a fella. Okay, watch this. Amazing. And then... Aim for the light. You enormous fool. Shit. Okay, watch out for the attack dog. Oh! <laughs> oh Jesus, that was horrible. Cutty's dead. Great work. Raiders incoming. Let's heal up. The problem with r scoping weapons, and it's only just occurred to me, is I can't see my bloody health. Which is why I'm gonna... I'm gonna hip fire these, if you can call it hip firing. Because I think we're doing fine. Shit. Let's take that. Good lord. Look at these raiders, though. Come on, my chest be sturdy, reinforced, leaded. God damn, the 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 stuff they've got equipped is 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 nuts. Shit. And I presume you didn't have. Oh. Wait. We can loot them. Ah. Bollocks. I wonder how many things I haven't looted then. Because I said, oh, it's power armor. We can't lose it. Because there's no <laughs> prompt to do it. Bollocks. Okay, that's unfortunate. I didn't realize you could just hit it and. Hit it and, uh, like you would normally loot and it would just pop up anyway. All right, here we go. Two yeah, right. items over here. What have we got? <gasps> Agility bobblehead? Hello. There's another raider. But he's too afraid to show himself. Okay. Well, let's get to scrounging, eh? We certainly do keep a lot of shit in these buildings. There it is. Oh, it's endurance. It's endurance. They made the running bobblehead endurance? What's agility then? Doing a handstand, right? Okay, your endurance has been increased by one. Honestly, arguably, the best one for Planty Mush. Glory? That's a lovely throne. I love the <laughs> dramatic music sting as well <laughs> for an armchair on some boxes. <laughs> oh, it's odd. Now, we said on that... We said on that terminal roof access, right? So I presume... That's with a sudden silence. I 
for me? You're One way to get I hope that guy was a raider and not just like an innocent dude. I probably probably should have checked what I was shooting at there. I thought it wasn't just like someone they were keeping prisoner. No, we're good. We're all right. Ooh, I might have messed up a quest then. <laughs> wow, these guys are paranoid, huh? So this would be the roof access then, eh? Okay. Now, bear in mind, we saw Gamma Claws on the roof. This could be a horrible fate for poor sweet Planty Mush. Eh. Uh. Okay. Good news. I don't think there's any Gamma Claws. The bad news is, I don't think there's anything up here worth looking for. There's the Minutemen quest over in that direction. Let's go poke around. Surely there's something up here. They wouldn't just... Is this... Oh, there's a fucking raider right there. How did you survive the Gamma Claws? Was it their pet? Like, how did you... What? Well, the Gamma Claws couldn't quite get to him. Oh, so this is the way you come into Poseidon Energy. If you're not a master lockpick, like lock, lockpick, locksmith, like Planty Mush, right? Oh no, but the roof required a key, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm Ew. insane. Weird. Okay. Well, that's cool though. There you go. Problem solved. We found one of the important bobbleheads, so that is that's good going. That that's got to be the main loot, right? Maybe there is something a little up here, but that's got to be like the big one. So I think with that, let's go and help. Oh, let's go do our Minutemen duties, right? We're going to head over in that direction. Do we have to... Wait, is this the right way to the Minutemen stuff? Oh, it is. We had to walk right past the energy... Right past Poseidon energy anyway. If I've missed anything, please let me know. I'm happy to do a treasure hunting episode. Like I said, get my attention. And we will head over there. Have I mentioned it in this episode? I feel like I've already said this. Maybe I have. Um... Someone sent a message on Discord about the, uh, the, uh, the vault. The, the vault was all bugged out and a little bit weird. Um, with, with what the problem is, it might not be fixable, to be totally blunt, uh, because of the way the mod packs are built. It might not be something that is viable to fix with all the other mods we've got enabled. That's fine. Honestly, that's fine. That's acceptable losses. That's what you get for meddling with a pre-built mod pack, quite frankly. That's, that's, is that Jabba's sail barge? What am I looking at? You know, that's acceptable losses as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've tried some of the, the basic, simple, straightforward fixes, changing uh, the, the combines line in the innie and stuff like that with no luck. Um, if we can't do the vault, look, it's a shame, but I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it, to be completely honest. It's, it's one of those things, you know. Planty mush giveth, planty mush taketh away. And in this case, what has been taken away is potentially like a DLC where we build a vault, which I'll be honest, I don't think it would make for good entertainment anyway. I don't think it's particularly gripping to watch. Why have we come all the way up here? Well, um, it was a location on the map that wasn't marked. So I assume there's something up here that's valuable. And I'll be very shocked if there isn't. Okay, we've got a combination wrench. We've got a safe with a stealth boy and some other garbage. A suit... And a pistol. There really was nothing up here then. Jesus. What the fuck is going on over there? There's a book? Is that an overdue book? I'm not swimming out to get that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, maybe something around here? No. I thought it was worth having a look. You know, it's an unmarked location on the map. Normally they hide some good treasures in here. It's just a generic place. Right. A little bit concerned about using the Silver Shroud submachine gun because, um, don't drink that. Oh, okay. It wasn't actually as irradiated as I thought, which is kind of surprising given that it's 10 rads over here. Oh God, we're going to have to walk through the bloody water now. I can't remember what I was talking about. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, the Vault DLC, not, 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 not super concerned. Not super concerned. I'll, I'll, I'll tinker around with it. I'll look at some guys. If I can fix it, I can fix it. If not, I'm not gonna. Not really that bothered. But what are we gonna do with it? I, I mean, I assume there's a main quest associated with it and everything else, but. If it is like really crazy vibes of content that you think we need to. Uh, like that's something we should be taking a look at, by all means. Is that a legendary bloke like glowing bloke? Okay, we'll ignore that. 
Planty's first question to these settlers is, um, why do you live here? Or was this was this the the quest raider problems? Talk to the settlers at Warwick Homestead. I mean, this is like insane. Why do they live here? What was that noise? More importantly, okay. We'll crawl around in the FMS Northern Star. Um, was that a ghoul? Raider survivalist. Okay. Was that a ghoul? Sorry, obviously I meant, was that a raider? Obviously I meant, was that a raider? I know that ghouls don't, for the most part, speak. How do we get up there? Is there a way up there? Because I don't really want to be fighting them from a distance with this. Okay, hold on. Uh, they'd, make, they'd make a more clear path than this, right? They wouldn't make you... They wouldn't make you climb up here, would they? Surely not. They wouldn't be so cruel. I don't think we can make that anyway, even if I tried. Yeah. Uh, I can't... Uh, I can't climb up. Oh, the tetanus. Oh. Was that? Was that a... Okay, nothing. I thought maybe maybe a ladder. And these raiders are, like, well locked in, aren't they? Oh. I'm going to take a while, guess It's probably not this way. Oh, shit. Okay, get out of this water, Planty. What the fuck did we get up there? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Was they was there just like a flight of stairs up that I missed? Well, this is clearly Raider building over here. <laughs> Maybe there is just a flight of stairs up. No. How do I get up there? This place is awesome. Gives me um. I don't know why it feels kind of borderlandsy in a way. Well, let's do one of those. I feel like poor Planty was on the back burner there. Ah, this'll be it. I would assume. No? The fuck do we get up there then? I've no idea. Well, I've no idea. Maybe the settlers will send us to go deal with those raiders anyway. You kind of assume they would, given that they live right next door. Very bizarre if they didn't. I might cut in a second and see if I can clamber away up there. Okay. Well, this is a lovely place you've got here. What are they growing? Mute fruit? Hmm. A few of those, if you don't mind. Listen, Decep doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna steal you. T taters are the things that we're lacking the most, to be honest. For some reason, we've looted way less taters than everything else. Unless they, you need more. I think I've seen oh. you around here before. Uh, New to these parts? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was here helping you with the farming. Uh, it's my, it's my first time here. In that case, welcome. We're always happy to have guests here at Warwick Homestead. Mm. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why set up a farm at a place like this? I was thinking that, actually. It might not look like much. And there's that smell. But that's the thing. See, this used to be a sewage plant. Oh, so fertile the soil. fertile soil. There you go. Wealth ...is right under our feet. Ah, oh, no wonder your crops are doing so well. Yeah, they really are. I have to admit. I feel they lucky were. to even be having this conversation. Oh. We fell on some hard times not long ago. A pack of super mutants hit us and wrecked our entire crop. Yeah, what about the raiders in the... the Minutemen would have helped us out, but last I heard, they were too busy fighting each other to worry about us farmers. So we were on our own. All of us starving. He seems death. rather chipper all about this. Have to watch his wife and children suffer. You know what I mean? Nah, those days are over, pal. The Minutemen are back, and we won't let you down again. If that's true, I'm glad to hear it, because we still need help. Those super mutants are still out there somewhere, and they could come back at any time. I know it's a lot to ask, uh -huh. but if you put an end to them, we'll all sleep a little easier. No problem, Roger. Those super mutants are already taken care of. You serious? Oh. That's great news. By Wait, way, we meant that literally. We've decided to support the Minutemen. Oh, you meant that literally. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. <laughs> uh, we must have cleared out some super mutants from somewhere at some point. And that was enough to complete the quest. Or oh, maybe don't go in there. That is, uh... That is poo. That is an enormous vat of sewage. It's a, I, honestly, it's a lovely place they've got. I really don't know, understand why the raiders haven't just steamrolled them. It's Hello. nice to have a lot of food. Wally only eat Warwick. 
You don't say Warwick in um, real English, you know. How do I get up to that then? I'm going to poke around a little bit more, see if I can find a way up. If not, I'm going to cut my losses. Ah, I think I might be onto something here. Look, 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 look. This has got to be right. This is it. This is it. This is it. I think I found the way. Okay, here we go. Let's go fight ourselves some raiders. Maybe the submachine gun. Ooh, this is enormous. What a cool base to have. Wowee. How have they not all died from the bloody radiation? What's about this tunnel? Yes, please. Turret control. Uh, I could like the holotape, right? Let's just deactivate it for now. That's fine. Thank you. Right. The silver shroud needs no help. Where is the gate in? Open. Shh. You head down. There's something here. Some sort of loot worth mentioning, apparently. Raiders. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. Oh! Careful. Be gone! What? What did he just say? Hello? Hello? The Scandinavian? Hello? <laughs> Are these Scandinavian Raiders that have traveled all the way over here from post-apocalyptic Scandinavia? That seagull just caught a grenade. Speak some more. Oh, I think they're Norwegian. Hello? Why, why are they Norwegian Raiders? What's happening? <laughs> why? Well, good for them. Good for them traveling this far across them. Um... How bizarre. <laughs> this wasn't what I expected at all, I'll be honest. I feel like this was probably a quest. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, they're ghouls! They're go Norwegian raider ghouls on a ship? Right next to a s settlement? How bizarre. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's it. Uh, uh, Planty hits his head. <laughs> what the fuck is this quest? <laughs> okay. Wow. I mean, it's not a quest. Obviously, we're just exploring, but that's something. What is that? Oh, there's loot at the front, but we've got to go around. There's someone else shooting at us. It's not the machine gun turret. Oh! <laughs> Hello! They're called rags. They're called rags. And uh, we're going to heal up, actually, before fighting rags. I didn't realize there was someone else on the deck. <laughs> go back to Norwegia, you swine! Ah, uh, and that's it. Surely they didn't sail all the way over here and then beach the ship. Hmm. Are there Norwegians speaking? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We've just found two of the special bobbleheads today's episode alone. What the hell? Um, what I was about to ask you there, is there many Norwegian speaking communities in Boston? Fucking horrible creature. You're lucky. How odd. How odd. Okay, well, I presume that's the ship dealt with. Damn, I'm really glad we came up here. I was like, oh, shit, I'm hoping not wasting anyone's time because we've already spent ages doing the crafting or whatever. And then, would you look at that? Another goddamn bobblehead. That's cool. From some... Oh, hello. Walk right past that. Tales of a junky town vendor. Junk town jerky vendor. Uh, Pummel again, better prices. Ah. Oh. oh, this is so bizarre. Okay. There was a button over on that lifeboat, so I'm going to assume if we press it, we descend. Let's give it a go. Otherwise, we've got to climb all the way back down those things again. Ah, you know what? Let's read it and see if... Oh, hello. Hack 50 terminals. You got damn right. Oh, I was hoping there would be a... um. I was hoping there would be a little bit of story about them. But again, maybe it's a quest for the future. Uh, Here we are. Uh, Whee! Clever system. That's a clever system for raiders. Maybe Norwegian raiders are more polite. Which is why they didn't attack that farmstead over there. Bizarre. Um, do we want to go back and speak to Preston Garvey realistically? If I go back and speak to him, he's immediately going to say, I've got another quest for you, isn't he? And that's probably going to make me cry. I don't want to do that. I was just trying to clear the, <sighs> clear the quest log, but he's going to immediately give us another bloody quest, isn't he? All right. Well, I think it's fairly safe to say 
tested out the weapons. The weapons are clearly very good. The Gamma Claws, I feel like, are a good um, litmus test for our DPS, for our, for our realistic damage. You can see the numbers. Okay, DPS is blah, blah, blah. But it's harder to gauge when you've got, say, double shot or instigating or, in this case, wounding on the uh, on the Silver Shroud weapon. Since we talked, I Hello. swell. Look at the two of us. Here in Sanctuary. You're doing so Prepared well. for the future. Could we, uh, could we trade? <laughs> he does trade. Oh, sick. Okay. Um, he sells duct tape. Economy Wonder Glue. God, he's not pulling any punches with these bloody prices, is he? Sealed Wonder Glue. Again, we put it in the thing and we fire it. He sells something called Apocalypse Greaves. Uh, Greaves. Cal Stodgy. St Stoogie? Cal Stoogie? Reward name right there. <laughs> you say you don't want this ridiculous gun that I'm never going to use, do you? Sells for six thousand. It's actually worth fifty-seven thousand. Yeah, you're ripping me off, you little naughty fella. I'm going to keep the combat rifle. See what customization we can do with that. Yeah, and I feel like we need an in-between weapon here, where it's not the long, long range or the slightly shorter range of the submachine gun. We need like a nice middle ground, and I feel like a combat rifle might be a good way to go about that. Is that not Preston right there? Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. Preston. Is there something you need? Is there something you need? Preston. Is there something you need? Preston. Fuck. Where's Preston Garvey? Is there something you I'm need? I'm well aware, before you comment, that the quest marker is not above... Okay. Does it actually want us to stand somewhere to trigger, like, a flag or something? Okay. Uh... What the fuck? Listen. Planting Bush is no synth conspiracy theorist. Some of his best friends are synths. <laughs> I got a real question right now. <laughs> what the Apparently fuck? Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Uh, Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. Okay, uh, for, uh before. Thank God. Super mutants. Yeah, super Civilians mutants. Just don't stand a God chance knows what we wiped them. out. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlement. Thank need our help. God. In the meantime. No, 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 no. Bye, 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 bye. Quest complete. Did that actually seriously not tick it up? Oh, for God's sake. Thank God. Okay. Super. Sorry, I'll Civilians hear him out this time. Yep. In theory, he shouldn't give us another because he did say, "I'll let you know." There you are. Nice. 450 XP. Didn't leave a single calling card. Did you notice that? Let's pretend that's intentional. From where he's becoming detached with the plant with the silver shroud character, and let's pretend I didn't forget. I know I said, "Oh, it's late." But it's only half eleven. Twenty-three thirty. For those of you who are operating twenty-four hour time, however, uh, I've been awake since very early. Oh, this is this quest, right? Where we go into the the basement and we get a cool outfit. Yeah. Uh, greetings. Uh, it's I, Planty Mush, the Silver Shroud. Ah, the uh, there you are. You. Finally. I've been waiting back. to talk to you. Ronnie. Uh, 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 uh okay. Uh, what do, you, what do you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the Idgets took over. Uh, uh, glad to meet you. We could use more veterans around here. You saying that she's old? Ah, uh, well, you're right about that. I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. She took it well. Uh, I'd like to hear what you wanted me to talk about. Uh, what you came to talk to me about. I'd like to hear what I came to you to talk about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their Sorry, feet. the words were all messed Thought up I'd in my brain. General for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Ah. Uh. uh... The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here... There was an option there to immediately pull rank, and I feel like that's a massive dick move. It's not your place to question me, soldier. Fucking shut up. Uh, we could always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. This oh, man's been general for a week. Weapons, <laughs> ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Do you hear that? On the air? There's a cello. That's right. Uh, uh okay. Ah, good. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Yeah. Uh, now is no. the way in. 
Okay, I, I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the northeast bastion. I dug up a tunnel in uh, creative mode that might be where we need to go. No? Hello, Nick. How you doing? Okay, let's very slowly follow the one and only Ronnie Shaw. Come along, Mr. Valentine. One thing you've got to you've got to appreciate about Nick, and one thing that Planty Mush has definitely remembered because I've remembered it, is when Nick was talking, he mentioned um, where the fuck's she going? He mentioned he was doing the cases for people, the missing persons case, the investigating for free. Did you notice that when he mentioned it? I noticed that when he mentioned it. And that is something that will have absolutely uh, struck a chord in Planty Mush's heart. Somebody so selfish, se <laughs> selfish, selfless, willing to go out of their way to help people like this that. Was the general's quarters used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Oh, well, there still ah, is. Lucky here. You've already cleared it. Good job. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way through. <laughs> I thought that you weren't supposed to be able to clear this yet. I thought it was like a side effect of having that scrap everything mod, but no. Turns out apparently you're allowed. That's good. I think Plasma Bush will have noticed that, and I think it will. I, I, I think as far as premium candidates to take on the Silver Shroud, Shroud, I, I think he's up there. I think he might be. The, he might be our guy, A man who dispenses justice across the wasteland. I mean, he's already basically dressed for the job. Uh, pretty dark down here. We better watch out. Our... Uh, it's not. It's it's. Uh, uh, your eyes okay, Ronnie? I can. Uh... Can examine them if you need. Planty Mush is, uh, you know, he's kind of like a. He's very much a um. He's very much a Renaissance man, you know. His his skill set is very broad. I don't know what happened there. Uh, he can build you. Ooh, cannibals. We'll take those. I imagine we'll get <laughs> something that can do something with that. You know, he can build you uh furniture. He can decorate your house or some bloody Some bloody veteran you are what's wrong with you? Jesus Oh, some of these kids are all yeah, well, they all need their diapers changed. You stepped on the first fucking landmine you saw Ronnie Okay, keep you keep your eyes peeled for him. What's that? Oh landmines also uh, apparently Turrets are still active down here. Probably where we put the lights on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> she keeps jumping on the fucking mines! What's she doing? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! That's <laughs> done. I can't handle it. Oh my god. She's stepped on like three mines so far. Ew. And they call it a mine. The mine! Right, sorry, when where are we? Get this quiet? When did it get this quiet? It's very dark. Can you hear my own thoughts? I don't like it that She just stepped on another fucking mine and killed him. She just killed she's after his job. <laughs> she's after his job. <laughs> okay, so there are clearly buried mines here, okay? And you have to walk around them. Uh, That's it. Dark down here. We better watch our step. Your Geiger counter doing cartwheels too? Okay. So, can synths be affected by radiation, given that Nyx just said that? That's interesting. I didn't I didn't really think about it before. Obviously, the organic synths, definitely, but... I never really considered that, like, Nyx generation... I know Nyx like a special generation of synths, but... Weird. I also can't not hear Nick as Mercer Frey anymore, and it's, it's really bothering me. He's so villainous. He's such a villainous man. In that alternate universe. Please stop stepping on. What's that there? Hello. Don't know. Please stop stepping on the explosives. For God's sake. Is that the discolored soil, isn't it? Right? Oh. No, we definitely don't want to be crafting right now. We're going to have to quick save because one of these bloody... You know, one, of this, one of this party that we've got going on here is going to blow us to smithereens. Let's quick save again. Jesus. Okay. Are we good? 
Okay, somehow we've managed to make it. Oh god. Should we take it out fast? Boom. Great work. Uh. He's been guarding the castle since forever, as far as I know. I don't think she was quite expecting us to take it out that fast, eh? That's great. I like that. Okay, and here it is then. Security terminal accessible. I guess that's her job. Uh, after you. Inaccessible. Boo. Let's grab that. Ah, let's see. I used to know this password. One if I land. Nah, that's not it. Try For the Jehovah with an eye. Oh, it's been a long time. Apparently not. United we stand. Oh. Yeah, that was it. Uh. Well, there's plenty of wine in here. Ooh, Amontillado wine. Okay. That's very clever. Because there's a man who was bricked up in here. I thought those were the three seashells then as well. I was going to say, this room is just rammed with references, isn't it? Minimum general hat and general uniform. Ah. Well, we'll be taking that. Well, that explains is this a friend of yours? This is, well, was General McGann. He had your oh. job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when the oh. sea beast attacked. Oh. That's castle. hilarious. Yeah. Uh, he did manage That's really very, very quite funny. I'll give him that much. Well, right, let's have a look yes. and see what we got. Uh, security door control. Oh, just closing the, the door for him. yours now, if you want it. So Geezer doesn't need it anymore. Thank you. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. You know he's surprisingly well preserved for a man who's been down in this place for. <laughs> There's no point God knows how long. Sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on, we're almost through. Okay, lead on. Okay, I'll lead on. <laughs> oh God, this is where we need the Oblivion music because this quest has been a disaster from start to finish. <laughs> to be fair, we did kill that robot far faster than the game would have expected to kill it realistically at this point in the game. Okay. So, boop, and that will open us to the outside world, I'd assume. Hey! Very nice. Don't suppose we can clear this, can we? Oh, I can't even enter workshop mode right now for whatever reason. Oh, there you go. Uh, no, that's, that's like permanent rubble. Fair enough. Okay, let's see what goodies we've got left then, as she quite rightly said. Uh, loads of mines. Not for long, it's not. Uh-huh. Ooh, artillery. Oh, what is this thing? Hello. Sentinel. 75% faster movement while aiming. Whoa, it's one of those very, very overpowered guns that Curie had not so long ago, you might remember. That's cool. Laser musket mods? Oh, that's fun. I like that. Ah, oh, and there it is. Artillery supplies and artillery schematic. Cool. Uh, I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. All right, let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. Ah, uh, I grabbed, um, everything. Oh, no, we missed the important thing, apparently. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is unblockable, though. This, this is what collapsed on the other side, though, isn't it? Yeah. Stone debris. Yeah, sadly not on that side. That's all right, though. Can I get this connected back up? Can it reach my... <laughs> oh, it's going to be the longest power cable ever. That's going to... Nah, I don't think I'll be doing that. We'll just put down another generator for it. How about that? Uh, first things first, though. Artillery piece. I guess we'll put it up on the walls? Seems like a good idea. Here we are. Um, and... Oh, careful, careful. Tease it. What do you think? About there? That seems about right. I think we fucking nailed that. Look at that. Great positioning on that one. Shoot down that goddamn massive balloon. Still don't quite understand how it stays afloat, but I won't question it. Ooh, can we... Ah, destroyed the artillery. There you go. And then, same story, I suppose. Fire out in... Don't hit the flag. Fire out in that direction. Uh, that one's that one's defying the laws of physics. Hold on. There you go. Uh, Mabel, please man that. She can't man it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Could you imagine? I wonder if we can repair the wall. There are some mods on the workshop for rebuilding the fort. 
Got robot workbench. Didn't know if there was anything else in there, like repair the wall. Apparently, you can do that for Sanctuary as well. I'd already started scrapping it, which is why I had to download a different one, sadly. But Okay, let's throw up some artillery pieces. Then. I presume we've got to build all of where it was before. There you go. Apparently, we need one over here. Oh, this place is going to look amazing. It's going to look lovely. Wowie. Are they giving us enough components for this, or is this coming out of Plansy Mush's pocket? Because I'll be honest, he's generous, but... Get in the way of his crafting. That seems like a terrible idea. Goes against everything he bloody stands for. This is only hobby, goddammit. Oh, what's that? It's water fuel. Fuel, fuel applier? That's not right at all. That's my favorite, uh... Dictator who replaced Five Nights at Freddy's. There you are. Beautiful. I think that's it then. So Star Force, you presume five artillery. I don't think that's a controversial thing to say. Yeah. And uh, okay, I've I've done it. I've built five complex artillery buildings in about fifteen seconds. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery built, we'll do a test fire to calibrate it. You don't need to do that. It's art it's artillery. Right, we gotta assign some people then. So, um, we haven't got anyone here. That's the problem. You're assigned to the desk. What the hell am I... What am I going to do? Should I put Nick Valentine on it? <laughs> can I put her on it? That's a better question. Yes, we can. Ronnie Shaw. Here we go. Um, I guess we'll put you on the one by the gate. Just in case something starts coming at us. And then Ronnie Shaw on... That. Oh, no. Didn't allow me to select it for whatever reason. Sorry, let's try that again. Apologies for the inconvenience. Oh, I can't assign her. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, fella in the middle. Excuse me. Can't assign him either. What's it doing? How very odd. Oh, have I jumped the gun? Have I built it too early? Okay, let's fucking stick it down there. There you go. We good now? Building assign artillery. Okay, it's just the assignment that's the issue. Um, Mr. Valentine? I mean, there isn't anyone else here. There isn't anyone else here, and I can't assign anyone else. What the hell's going on? Like, I've, I can't select them. Uh, okay. What's that? Manage? Nope, that's definitely not the case. Okay, yeah, I've done that. Thank you. How odd. Okay, might be a little bit buggy. Because I don't think we have any... How many people do we have at the fort right now? Hang on. Um, Four people at the castle, apparently. Okay, see if any turn up. Let's wait till daytime. Ah, there you are. Hello there. Right, so you on Got that, it. please. Resources now assigned. Okay. I presume we've got to wait for you to actually climb on it. Now, I saw another person up on the wall that we'll assign as well. What's the point of the fucking workbench? What does it want from me? Maybe I am supposed to build five, but I jumped the gun and did it, like, way too fast. Okay. Well, I've still got this person assigned, so let's go... Like that. There you go. Okay, so the one on the ground didn't work. Talk to Ronnie Shaw. I didn't think it would work, but just testing it anyway. Ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. So here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. Okay. The smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. You have very but good first, vision to, uh... A test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming very good vision to see that from across the, uh... There, we'll use that for our aim what little Keep building? radio on and tuned to radio freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Okay. Right. Head to the target area. And tune to radio freedom. That's an American news channel right there. Beautiful. All right, General, if you can hear me, we're ready. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area. She we'll just fucking fire. said, sorry, I've got to bring this up. She just said they can't fire at close range. This is like 20 meters away. <laughs> what? Well, obviously, we don't you firing them at your feet, you moron. Okay, so simply, grenade over here. Is that it? Oh, God, there you go. Ah, uh, Mr. Valentine, you may want to run. And then... And then... Okay, we've got your smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. Yeah, you know, just in case. 
Just in case, what, an explosion goes off? I think you want to stand back no matter what. Okay, and then... Oh, shit, there it goes. Well, they are going to shot... Oh, okay, all the way up, far enough. Oh, that's good. Great work. That's cool. Never going to use that again. In fact, what I'm probably gonna likely going to do is have it equipped by accident and throw it and then end up grenading it myself. So we're going to turn that off. What a hideous gun. All right. And that's... Oh, shit, she's firing again. Fucking hell. It's because I've got two assigned, I assume. Oh, they are going all in on that. Okay, I think it's dead. Should we not be conserving our resources? It's... Oh. It is the apocalypse. Yeah, I think you got him. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm sure the Brotherhood still won't take notice of this. Uh, Elder, there appears to be an artillery barrage coming from... Shockingly close to where we're located. I'm sorry, this, this just carries on all day, does it? Uh, think it's over? Is it one per artillery I built? Is that it? Right, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. And now what do we do then? Journal? Uh... That's it. We, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, second volley, apparently. <laughs> I think we may have bricked it. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's dead. It's fucking dead. Right, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going to travel away. Maybe, maybe if we fast travel, some time will pass and we'll be able to come back to it. Oh, that quest from start to finish was a clusterfuck totally nonsensical from beginning to end classic bethesda there you go maybe when a lot of times pass maybe something so, something in the game's redundancies will kick in and it'll say that look good from there here. you go you've now got artillery support use it wisely general strong like the fact that we've got artillery there you go good shit right it took a little while but they, they got there in the end so, speaking of which, let's leave that there for today. Did we get much questing done? Absolutely, we did not. Uh, absolutely, we did not at all. That's right. However, you know what we did get done? Two special snap bobbleheads. Bobbleheads. And some fantastic crafting, in my honest opinion. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, this is starting to come along. So, we need to collect another eight. Is that right? And then we're... And then we've got them all. That's sick. Okay. Well, I'll see you there for today then. Thank you all for joining me. A uh, bit of a weird adventure, a little long one. But tomorrow we'll be back to cracking on with the quest. I think we'll start the railroad road stuff to tomorrow so that we can actually get some headway and assess all our different factions and then go from there. What are you doing on that roof?